welcome to Club W's Creating a Healthy Charcuterie Board, presented by Casey McNally. This presentation will be recorded and placed on the hospital's YouTube channel for future viewing and sharing. We'll have a Q&A once Casey completes her presentation. And now I'm gonna turn it over to Casey and let her introduce herself. Casey. Hi, thank you, Sandra. Hi, I'm Casey McNally. I'm a dietitian here at the hospital. Um, I work in the outpatient clinic and work with some of these community events. And today we're kind of going over the healthy charcuterie, uh, healthy charcuterie board and how to make um, it healthier. Um, so our objective for, for today, um, kind of the nutrition components of the charcuterie board, I'll break it down up to each main section, um, healthy eating with charcuterie, um, and then making that charcuterie board healthier. So first, what is a charcuterie board? So charcuterie is actually was founded initially in France, and it was a butcher shop where they um, um, had cold cut meat secured and um, seasoned, and it, it would be a delicacy meat and meat dishes. So makeup of the board. Um, so as most know, it's meat, cheese usually have the savory component, a sweet component, and some crackers to dip or eat the meat and cheeses with. Um, there are a variety of flavors, textures, and different type of foods. A lot of times people like to do themes of charcuterie boards or have them for special occasions. Um, I know during the holidays, I saw a lot of charcuterie boards um, and ate from them as well. So again, this is just another diagram of charcuterie components. Um, you have sliced foods, um, you slice some foods, some spreadable, jams, some uh, um, accents, and of course your beverages as well. So nutrition facts. So the main part of your board is your meats. As we know, charcuterie is from, is meaning the meat. Um, so that's our, our focal point usually of these boards. Um, a lot of main meats that are on charcuterie boards are your prosciutto, salami, dried beef, cooked meats, um, and you can choose whatever, whatever meat you'd like. These are just some of the, the basics, uh, most common ones. Um, the thing is with these meats, usually with cured meats, they're really, really high in sodium because um, they're really processed and they also can be high in saturated fats as well. Um, and those can cause some adverse health effects with your, um, they're not super heart healthy um, and then can kind of raise your blood sugar, blood pressure as well. So this is a nutrition fact label. This is not um, specifically of a meat product. It's just an example. Um, but sodium is found here in that highlighted um, section. And on a nutrition fact label, if it's over 20, it's high, greater than 20%, it means it's high in sodium. Um, and our, usually we want to limit our sodium to about 230 milligrams a day or about two grams of sodium. Um, and on this one, as you see, it's 700 milligrams. So that's about a third of your intake for the day. Um, another thing we can look at leaning towards the meat is that saturated fat. So this, this specific product had one gram, which isn't a significant amount, um, but that would just be another thing to look for when, when shopping for the meats for your, for your board. Cheese. Cheese is another component um, typically found on your charcuterie boards. Um, you can find various types of cheeses and you can mix those in with your board. So there's hard, soft, firm, semi-firm. Um, and I know multiple boards have all, all the combinations of the cheese. Um, and typical ones are brie, gouda, parmesan, I'm cheddar, uh, mozzarella. Um, I'm even missing some goat cheese. Cheese and goat cheese usually just has a little bit more tang to it, um, but a great choice as well. Um, and each cheese have different nutrition co um, components of them. Um, there's some that are higher in fat, lower in fat, um, but they can, they usually have saturated fat, but they're also a good source of protein as well. So your savory component, um, typically these are nuts, 
vegetables, olives, pickles, um, hummuses or dips like olive oil, hummus, um, and different, different blends like that. Um, so nuts and hummus are great healthy fats. They have a good source of omega-3s um, and they are also a good source of protein. So they're great to have on your board. Also, the vegetables have, are, multi, have, are high in vitamins and minerals and also antioxidants that help with inflammatory properties. So your sweet component. So fruits, strawberries, kiwis, bananas, um, chocolates, spreadable jams. I've seen honey, um, a chocolate sauce, anything, any sweet component would go well with your charcuterie board. Um, again, fruits are like uh, similar to vegetables and they have, um, they're high in antioxidants and have several nutritional benefits with your vitamin and minerals that are incorporated to it. Um, and since some chocolates, um, dark chocolates have, have some antioxidants, so they're, they're good with inflammation as well. Um, and then spreadable jams and chocolates usually have a higher sugar content. Um, so just kind of be mindful of, of those components as well. Oh, sorry. Um, another thing I wanted to mention would be the, the crackers. They're not a main, main por um, portion of your charcuterie board, but they're always paired well with um, your meats and cheeses to kind of um, for you to eat with them. And usually we want to get their crackers. So um, just some ideas to have them. They're, they're good carbohydrate stores. And um, you could always get a whole grain or, or a multi-grain and those will just are extra nutrients for you. All right, wines. Charcuterie boards are usually paired well with wines. Um, different wines usually pair well with different specific foods, but um, you can also just choose whatever wine you'd like, um, your preferred type of wine. Um, wine, some wines can be higher in sugar. I know there are some wines that um, kind of have limited sugar in them. Um, so maybe you wanna watch out for those. Um, also red wines are have reservatol, which is a, um, um, a fruit component and it's also, it acts like an antioxidant and anti-inflammatory. So it's great. Um, so the reservoir is good for your, your um, immune system. So, th so there's some things that can make it healthier. Um, generally overall, a charcuterie board is fairly healthy with the, the fruits and vegetables and the nuts. Those are great healthy components. Um, those meats and some of those cheeses and those spreadable jams, those can be a little bit of the le less healthier components of them. But there are some things we can kind of switch out to, to make them better. Um, so with boards, with the meats, you can um, kind of limit your intake of them or look at that nutrition fact label and look for the less than 20% sodium. Um, and some of those cured meats are hard to find. Um, for the lower sodium. So it's also important just to limit that intake of them. Um, so in eating more of those fruits and vegetables and keeping things in moderation while eating them. Um, so it's also, so you can buy wines that I mentioned before with lower sugar content. And then you can also, um, just a, the recommendation intake for um, men and women, um, is no more than one glass of alcohol per day and no more than two for men um, for an alcohol serving is. So that you can also switch some things out to, to make them healthier. So for cheese, you can, you can have um, your lower fat cheese or Parmesan Swiss mo mozzarella. And so you can switch those out um, with your higher fat cheese to make them have that less saturated fat but still a good source of protein. Um, getting dark chocolate over milk chocolate as it's higher in antioxidants. Um, there isn't, there, dark chocolate doesn't have a whole bunch of antioxidants. So if you wanted to stay with the milk chocolate, that'd be okay. Um, however, the dark chocolate would be a better option. Um, using those red wines instead of white wines as those have um, that higher reservatol and have better uh, anti-inflammatory properties. You can also kind of play it when, with my plate. If you're going to going somewhere where you're not making the charcuterie board, but you're eating off of it, um, this is kind of a good visual to use when you're 
you're picking out at stuff or putting one on a plate. So my plate is the method we like to um, present to people to help visualize um, how much they should be eating. It, it's the old food pyramid with a better visual. So um, we want half of those grains. So those would be your um, crackers that you that you have pair well with that pairs with the um, the meat and cheeses, your fruits, your vegetables, and your proteins. So your proteins can be those nuts, hummus, the meat, um, all those would be a source of protein. So if you have your, your little dish plate, just kind of visualizing this when you're, when you're dishing up. So this kind of breaks down the my plate snack um, and using the visualization. So again, half a plate of fruit and veggies, um, a fourth of grains in the spreads, um, and then a fourth of those protein and meats. And then as you see, there is dairy up here, and that's where the cheese fit in. Um, about a serving of dairy is, is good for meal. So some takeaways. So you can always switch to a healthier option when able. So getting those lower fat cheeses, lower sodium meals, having hummus and honey and watching how much of the spreadable jams you have, um, getting whole grain or whole wheat crackers instead of the, um, the simple grains or the white breads and having those. Moderate your portion sizes. Nothing is off limits, but just being moderate of what you were all intaking and eating. Um, and then again, using that my plate method when eating. So we want to either switch those things out or and um, moderate those portion sizes and or using that my plate method when you're stacking up your your meal. Any questions? Casey, thank you for that presentation. I thought about this topic because over the holidays, um, I had all of the sh several charcuterie boards served, but they were all just like high in sodium, high in processed foods. So I kind of wanted to see how we could change that up and make it a healthy option. So I appreciate you um, presenting this today. I think we have one question here. Um, what about seafood? Can you use seafood on your board? Yes, yeah, seafood is a great option. Um, Seafood are usually high in the good fats and your omega-3s, and they're a great source of protein as well. Um, so yes, seafood is a is a great option to add in on your on your charcuterie board. And then we have another question. Um, can you give some examples of low sodium prepared meats? Yes. So um, that's a a lot of the times I when I see those um, in the stores because those processed are already really high in sodium. Um, I have seen people kind of make their own, um, which can be kind of difficult, but um, if you're making, you can use chicken and um, season that how you'd want to and slice that up. Um, I've seen people do like a roast beef and, and shred it um, or slice it thin, but they, they know how much sodium they're putting into it as um, all those processed ones are all usually pretty high in sodium. Um, I do have a couple of other questions. Um, do you have ideas for non-meat eaters? Yes. Um, so that's where so your meat is your kind of high protein. Um, so if you want to get out of that meat, you can in incorporate that protein with, um, you can do tofu, you can do, um, that's where those nuts and seeds can come in. Those are great in protein. Um, you can have uh, like edamame beans um, and that hummus also is great protein. I've seen a lot of um, vegetarian boards or even vegan boards where they just completely omit the meat and just replace it with bigger portions of hummus or like a chickpea um, blend um, or having more of those nuts. Okay, and here's another question. Um, do you have a replacement lists, like what to replace instead of this, use this, that we could send to the participants? Um, yes, I can. Um, this is kind of what um, 
here or yes, but I can I can simplify that and do that as well. Okay, thank you. Yeah, and then I can also send this pre, um, PowerPoint presentation. Okay, and we'll send that out and what the link to the YouTube uh, video channel as well.